Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Your Excellency, His Highness, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad al Thani, Your Highnesses, Excellencies, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. It is an honor for me to attend the 17th Doha Forum. Previous conferences have significantly contributed to the international debate on critical political, economic, regional, and international issues, and prompted thinking as to how some of these issues can be addressed. I look forward to take part in these discussions. I want to thank and extend my sincere gratitude to the Kingdom of Qatar for hosting this important event and for the warm reception. We thank you. This year's overall theme, development, stability, and refugee crisis could not have been more timely given the increase in crisis globally which continues to cause instability resulting in increased forced displacement. In my country, Somalia, the combination of insecurity, poverty, and national, natural disasters has for many years created a complex movement of Somalis seeking safety and livelihood opportunities, both internally within Somalia and across borders to neighboring countries, the Gulf and beyond. With now over one million internally displaced people and close to one million Somali refugees in the region, Somalia continues to be a country with one of the most complex and protracted displacement crises worldwide. In addition to being the country of origin for thousands of Somali refugees, Somalia also is a host country to refugees from the region, including refugees from Yemen. Your Highness, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as you are aware, this elusive search for a brighter future by our youth has resulted in the tragic loss of hundreds of lives in the high seas of our people, mainly young men and women, who we consider the main resource of the country and the hope of our nation, undertake the dangerous journey to other countries in search of safety and livelihood opportunities. My government is committed to work with its citizens and partners to reverse this worrying trend by creating conditions which will allow for stability and prosperity at home. I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of the Somali government and its people to sincerely thank all countries that host Somali refugees and asylum seekers. We are fully aware that your efforts as part of the burden sharing by the international community comes at a significant cost to your countries, and for this, we remain grateful. On the right to return, I would like to take this opportunity to assure all my people that their right to voluntary return to their homeland, Somalia, is guaranteed. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Addressing the multiple drivers of forced displacement is a robust task which requires a multi-faced approach and resources to match. We call all upon our friends, especially our brothers and sisters in the Arab world, to help us in this important matter and cause changing endeavor. Although we still have a long way to go, we must acknowledge that the tireless efforts we've made, and we are trying to do whatever we can to ensure that the gains we've made is working to address the root causes of the key drivers of the forced displacement and irregular migrations. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, and your highnesses, today Somalia is on the path of recovery and is focused on strengthening its institutions which will allow the government to assume its full responsibility towards its citizens. As such, 
there's a need for increased attention towards an approach that empowers the government to assume its role. I would like to expand the focus to discuss, to include financial support to countries receiving returnees. Such a two-track approach will not only ensure sustainable gains in addressing the needs of refugees during displacement, but ensure a similar investment at home in form of skills building, job creation, service provision, and development of infrastructure, which are all critical elements in creating stabilizing conditions in the country. We are aware that there are numerous competing priorities globally, but at the same time, we ask the international community not to take its eyes off Somalia. We've been in this crisis for far too long, and we do have an opportunity to make a real difference and change the narrative in Somalia. Your Highness, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Somalia's greatest potential is that 70% of our population are youth under the age of 30 years. That greatest potential is also our greatest risk. If we are not able to provide for these youth, if we are not able to build the institutions, build the infrastructure, create jobs, and ensure conditions for them to stay at home, then we will be in this circle. The advantage we, stand, we have today as a nation is that Somalia has a real opportunity to finally emerge out of this dark, to finally write again its history, to finally take part of the world as it has been for many, many years. We therefore ask the world and our brothers and sisters in the Arab world to take a little bit more risk in Somalia because the greatest risk that our nation is facing now is that we are not able to take this opportunity we have. The biggest risk is that we and the international community don't utilize this window of opportunity Somalia has. I thank the government of Qatar, your highness and your people for always standing with the Somali people and we hope we'll continue this journey together. Thank you.